Dear friends, good evening. Before we finish our daily work, let us focus our attention in this evening prayer on God's Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us listen to the Word of God from today's Gospel, Matthew chapter 7. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall. It was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them, will be like a stupid man who builds his house on sand. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and struck that house, and it fell. And what a fall it had! Friends, uh, this beautiful parable describes perfectly what one's life is all about. Building the life as the house on a rock or on sand. In this picture, Jesus describes your and my life as well. There is no need of deep explanation. It's simple and clear. Jesus asks you today, he also asked me, on what precisely is the whole of your life built? What is the center of your life? What is the heart of your doing and thinking, working and achieving? What is in the deepest center of your life? Is it just yourself or is it the Lord? Where is the place when I connect with the Lord as my Savior? Today, at the end of this day, the Lord Jesus asks, am I really the center and the source of everything what you think and do? Am I really the point where you are all going? Or maybe I'm just a picture on the wall, even though it's beautiful and nice. Jesus simply explains us. Do I build on a rock? Do I build on secure strength faith. Do I really believe that Jesus is not a kind of addition to my life, but the source, the stronghold. He is the rock on which I build all what I need and desire. Please God, He is the rock. But still, when we realize that nothing is perfect what we do and say, there is huge hope, even if sometimes there is still something what is more like sand than rock. Jesus gives us strength and faith that with him we can transform this sand into the rock, because after all, rock is built of sand. Hard work, we can do it tomorrow and the next days. We can transform some small pieces of our lives, some sand of our faith, into the stronghold, into the new rock on which is built our faith. Let us, at the end of the day, ask our blessed Lord, Jesus Christ, to give us the courage and faith that He is able to transform everything 
what still needs to be transformed. Let's ask the Lord that He will be very soon the center of my life, the main point where His love will be given to you and to me. Let's pray to the Lord that He will bless us and give us enough faith to accomplish. And let us pray. O Lord, support us all the day long of this troublous life, until the shadows lengthen and evening comes and the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over and our work is done. And then, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sleep well, and please God, see you tomorrow.